Welcome to Chocolate Talk. I am Dina Branson, owner and confectioner of Branson's Chocolates. This month on Chocolate Talk, we're talking about July's product of the month, which is a lavender square. So I'm taking lavender, fresh lavender, and I'm gonna infuse it into the, the ganache center of the square. It's a dark chocolate ganache center, dipped in dark chocolate, garnished with a little bit of the lavender bud. So in a few minutes, I'll actually be showing you how we do the infusion part of making these chocolate squares. And we hope because everybody's 4th of July, we hope you're gonna have a good one, a safe one, and enjoy the day with your friends and family. We'll see you next time. So this is how we're making our lavender square. I am taking some cream. I'm gonna infuse the cream with our lavender buds, our culinary buds, and then we're going to let that seep together. And once that's fully seeped, we're gonna take the cream and infuse it into the, or mix it into the chocolate. So here goes our cream. I need my spatula, because you know me, I don't like to waste. I want every little bit of goodness. So there we go. And then we'll take our buds. We'll mix those in. And so right now I'm actually getting the, the smell of the lavender just because that's the, the buds are still not 100% dry, so that way I get a lot of the oils out of them. I'm gonna let this mix, got it mixed all together. There we go. And then once this comes to a full boil, I'm going to um, turn the heat off and put the lid on it and let it set for a few minutes. And once I do that after it, then I get to strain it. And the straining process actually makes it so you get the, the lavender flavor and then not the bud, so that way you don't get the little pieces within your chocolate. So that's why I have a strainer sitting here on the bowl that I'm going to be using when I mix the chocolate and lavender cream together. So at this point, it's just kind of a, a waiting game for the cream to come to a full boil and so I can get that infused. The chocolate that I'm using for this is actually a 58%. It's um, going to be well balanced with the lavender, not something that's going to be overpowering. So um, just kind of one of those that everybody likes, that nice medium darkness of chocolate. All right, so now the cream is infused with the lavender. So I'm going to take my chocolate and put it in the bowl. But of course you have to have all your chocolate then I'm going to strain the lavender out of the cream. So we're gonna pour it all right here, get all the goodness out. And of course there's still cream in the lavender. So we're gonna strain that out. and buds on that. I don't want the buds in the center, so I'm gonna set that one to a side. And I'm actually gonna move the chocolate down into the cream, make sure it's all covered and in there, because the, the heat of the cream is actually what's gonna melt the chocolate. So we want it to start to melt, which it's doing. And we're gonna mix it in. See, it's melting. We're gonna get this all mixed in. It has this nice floral flavor of the, the lavender. I can smell it. So, and once this chocolate fully melts, then I'm going to add a little bit of butter right at the end to finish it. We're gonna pour it out into a pan, and later, we'll, after it sets, I'll cut it into squares, dip it in dark chocolate, and top it with some of this beautiful local lavender. That's how we make our lavender squares here at Branson's Chocolates. Come in, try them, and we'll see you when we're out and about. Subscribe and like our Branson's Chocolates YouTube channel where we post chocolate talk every month. Follow and like our social medias. And remember, we're an everyday indulgence.